This episode of Born to Explore is sponsored in part by Alexia Organic Crinkle Cut Fries. Across the United States, farms large and small face all kinds of challenges. But challenges can also be opportunities for American farmers to do what they love. We're putting safe, healthy food on American tables. I take a lot of pride in what I do. I'm Troy Emerson, and I'm an American farmer. Growing delicious food and sharing it with friends and family is an age-old tradition here in Eastern Washington. I've come to Watts Brothers Farms, which grows white potatoes and other vegetables on more than 20,000 acres of farmland. 3,000 of those acres are now dedicated to organic potato production. The first thing I noticed walking through these fields is that it, it almost feels like I'm walking on a pillow when I actually touch the soil. I mean, there's something very rich feeling about this. We've been blessed with having a good base. Mother Nature has provided us the good soils in this region. It's kind of neat to be able to pull a plant and see the fruits of your labor. That's very really rewarding. Idea. This potato started here, huh? Yeah, this is uh, organically grown. Uh, our seed stock that we get in is certified non-GMO. So we use practices that don't use any commercial and synthetic fertilizers. Troy has been in these fields for almost a quarter century. He knows what it takes. Organic ground that has been farmed conventionally takes a long time to get into production. So we look at taking new ground that has not ever been farmed and then put that into production. It smells good. Organic potato production takes a team. So we have dedicated agronomists, the plant doctors. We have uh, crop managers organizing the crews. We have irrigation technicians. We have tractor operators, the harvesters. So it's aligned and comes together to produce these wonderful organic potatoes. And where will these potatoes end up? These potatoes will end up as Alexia organic crinkle cut fries. When you walk through a field by yourself and you're looking at the soil, you're looking at the plants, Tell, tell me what you're thinking on these. Well, it may sound a little silly, but as we're walking through the fields, these, these plants will talk to you, so to speak. We're observing differences from day to day, week to week, and you make corrective measures to it to get better, and uh, it's a fun process. If growing great food is satisfying, so is eating it. Troy has invited me to a lodge right on the farm to join Guylaine Jolie, a French-born chef along with friends and family for a terrific meal. Nice local salmon. Are the fries ready? They are. All right, let me take a look. Oh, beautiful golden brown color. Let me smell. That smells nice. Okay, what's your secret? No big secret. I didn't do anything. They made with sea salt and olive oil. Let's hey, go, the crowd is go. waiting. That looks good. After you. Pour a couple, couple of fries for me, mate. Mm. I'd just like to thank everybody for all your hospitality. To me, there's no greater treat than eating locally grown food and share it with all of you. So thank you very much. Cheers. 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 And here's to a great harvest.